This uh, IMS uh, 2022 meeting is very exceptional for me because it's my first time as a meter expert in an international meeting. And we shared the stage with uh, Lara Rossino and uh, we have co-authored with her uh, two reviews on this topic. And we also have shared uh, a retrospective data from Barcelona University and also the Balkan Myeloma Study Group. So we have data, uh, retrospective data, and also some reference data in terms of how to approach extramedullary disease. This morning in the session, I was amazed that, that there, it was so popular. We had, um, the room was packed, and, and there, there were good discussions, good questions, and also a contribution from the, the, uh, the listeners, the audience. I think we tried to give the message that the incidence of extramedullary plasma cytoma um, depends on the, the nature, the description, uh, if it's paraskeletal versus the soft tissue plasma cytoma, the incidences are different and the, the prognostic value is also different. And we also try to give the, the message how to approach these patients based on this uh, the detailed uh, diagnosis. And um, currently, um, paraskeletal plasma cytoma does not deserve a different approach rather than the standard myeloma. but uh, a diagnosis, extramedullary plasma cytoma, deserves uh, attention like a high-risk myeloma. So intensive treatment, possibly quadruplets, and also followed with long-term treatment until uh, there is progression. So we should not stop treatment for these patients. In the relapse setting, we have now emerging data. Uh, we have um, data from the, the, uh, the prospective clinical trial of uh, Icaria and Ikema uh, merged together and we have submitted it for publication. It's under review and we shared that information with the audience today. And we also have a poster here uh, with looking at the NGS at relapse on patients who have uh, failed multiple lines of therapy and, and based on the NGS mutational profile, we have uh, approached these patients uh, in a druggable, if they are druggable mutations and I, I shared uh, one of our patients experience who has um, BRAF mutation and has responded beautifully to Vemurofenib and so the, the, I think that we need to look for um, tailored uh, approaches in such patients.